believe where where's the other thing oh no oh no ticking time ticking time yes all right good morning hello and welcome to this day in history aka tdh this show is about what happened to date throughout the annals of recorded history Join us as we delve into yesteryear, not only for an important and interesting happenings, but to possibly even answer questions you don't know you have. The sources of this information come from the, uh, well, they don't come from the smart devices. We mainly only use the, uh, the website on this day.com. Uh, I gotta update that. Anyway, for links to the source and anything else potentially interesting, as well as, uh, anything we gather throughout the show that will be posted post live stream, as per usual, please check the underbar in the description below. Anyway, I am Ao Xander, and if you viewer, of course, are you. Thank you very much for joining. I appreciate that. Today is, uh, no, Thursday, aka Thursday, December 7th, 2023. That, that date should resonate in the bones of many people, not just in the United States of America, but around the world. It is a very significant date in world history of all time. Um, but anyway, we'll get to the reason why here in a little bit, but, uh, you know, let's not let that overshadow a bunch of other things. Starting us off here in the year 43 BC, Marcus Tilius Cicero, Roman orator and politician, was assassinated in Frame uh, by soldiers under the command of Mark Anthony. Cicero! Yes, a lot of, uh, murder happening, uh, you know, in, uh, Rome, you know. Beware the eyes of March, which already happened, I believe. Anyway, moving on up to 185, Emperor Lo Yang in China saw a supernova, uh, MSH1552, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, they saw a supernova. Let me get to live chat here. I don't want top chat. I wonder if there's a way to set that. We also have 1354. That's uh, quite a significant time jump here. Margaret II, Countess of Hainaut, and her son William, Duke of Bavaria, signed a peace treaty ending the Cod and Hook Wars between, between them. Cod and Hook Wars. What is this? Like, the deadliest catch or something? Like, let's... What is this? Uh, the Hook and Cod Wars. Uh, a series of wars and battles in the county of Holland between 1350 and 1490. Most of these wars were fought over the title of Count of Holland, but some have argued that the underlying reason was because of the power struggle of the bourgeois... The bourgeois uh, in the cities against the ruling nobility. Alright. So, for further reading... So, let's see here. Let me add here... Hook and Cod Wars. So for further reading, we have this source, and we also have the Wikipedia, if you do so wish. So, anyway, what else do we got here? 1696, Connecticut Route 108, one of the oldest highways in the U.S., was completed to Trumbull. Oh, okay. Connecticut Route 108. Let's take a look at that here. Uh, okay, is it still around? Uh, south End, U.S. 1 in Stratford, North End, Route 110 in Shelton. So it's still around. That's interesting. Um, it's in Connecticut, locally called the Nicholas Avenue in the Huntington Turnpike. It is a two-lane state highway that runs mo northern from U.S. 1, Boston, Post Road in St uh, Stratford, through Trumbull to Route 110 in downtown Shelton. All right, I used to have a I used to have a friend or two that lived out in Connecticut, but uh, no longer friends anymore, but oh well. Uh, but let's see here... Uh, uh, what was this? The old, uh, one of the oldest highways. Old highway. Let's just put that in here. What else do we got? 1703, the great storm of 1703 hit southern England, causing the deaths of thousands. The Royal Navy itself lost 13 ships and around 1,500 seamen. And by that, I mean, like, you know, ocean-going people, like, uh, crew of the Navy. Um, yeah, not the, um, not the stuff that makes people. Well... I guess the ocean makes men. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, disregard what horrible joke I was attempting to make in my weird head. Uh, while that was going on, the first Eddystone Lighthouse was destroyed in the Great Storm of 1703. All right, yeah, so here we go. The same storm did all that, and it destroyed the Eddystone Lighthouse. 1724, Tumult of Thorn, religious unrest, was followed by the execution of nine Protestant citizens and the mayor of Thorn, Turun, by Polish authorities. Wow, they, they killed the mayor? Well, what's, what's, what's with everybody attacking mayors and, and mayors thinking that, well, I guess mayors are more important than I think they are. I'm not sure. Because, you know, we talked about that one mayor got a letter bomb, you know? Then, and, you know, we have all this, this other mayor that uh, banned something in this one city in Germany or whatever. And that was a while ago. 
1724, uh, we got that. 1727, physician um, Sir Haynes Sohn became president of the Royal Society, succe succeeding Sir Isaac Newton. All right, so, you know, this is about Sir Haynes Sohn, not about Isaac Newton. Where's this guy's picture here? Isaac Newton gets enough credit, you know? Like, you know, where's, where's the... Where's the hip hip hurrah for this dude? I demand to see, you know what, hold on a second. Sir Hanson, you know what, let me see physician Sir Hanson. See if there's even a picture of him. Okay, yeah, there is. So I, I, need, to, I need to make my own historical calendar website, I swear. So this is the guy, Sl Sloan? Sloan? Huh. Well, I guess, uh, I guess they misspelled it here, I'm not sure. Um, I think this is the guy. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, 1732, the Royal Opera House opened at Covenant Garden in London, England. All right. That's a pretty old building. We also have 1741, Elizabeth Petrovna became Tsarina of Russia. All right, a female leader. Look at that, Tsarina. So, yeah. 1787, Delaware was the first state to ratify the U.S. Constitution. And I can still use my soundboard here on Discord, not other soundboards, though, um, outside of certain... It, it, it kind of acts as, like, emojis and whatnot. Um, uh, but yeah, so, first state, go Delaware. 1804, naturalist Alexander von Humboldt reported his discovery of the Delaware... Uh, not Delaware, of, of the... Why am I in Delaware? Uh, discovery of the decrease uh, in intensity of Earth's magnetic field from the poles to the equator in a memoir to the Paris Institute. Now, with how things are going today, I would like to believe that this is real, but this might be completely fictitious to push more certain political agendas and whatnot. You know, polarity shifts do happen, though. So, or maybe all that was fake. I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. Like, so many, so many things have been changed and rewritten. I'm not even sure what's true, what's false. But, like, I, I'm just, a, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a... I'm a, I'm, I'm a news reporter, like, for history, I guess. I'm just reading, you know, what's on here, so. But uh, if anybody wants to uh, take the time and look into this, you know, rabbit hole and uh, tell us their findings in the comments section, that'd be great. We got to move on up, though, here. In 1808, James Madison was elected the fourth U.S. president, and George Clinton was the vice president. Ooh. Uh, I wonder if George Clinton has any relation to Bill Clinton. Uh, does, is George Clinton related to Snoop Dogg? What? Hold on, I have to go down. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. How George Clinton taught Snoop Dogg the what? Okay, this is going down. Uh, this is a different George Clinton. Um, okay. Well, if anybody wants to go down either of those, those rabbit holes, I just made even more work for the audience if they so wish. So, uh, okay. Well, that's well, that's something else. So, uh, George Clinton related to Bill Clinton. Let's see what this guy. Clinton was also candidate for president. He did not do it. Clinton is nephew of him. No relation for him. Okay. So it says here he is not related. But let me just add this in the uh, underbar anyway. George Clinton. All right. And sorry for reading that fast. Was, Clinton was also the candidate for president in the 1808 election and did not receive, uh, or and did receive six electoral votes. DeWitt Clinton, his nephew, also became governor of New York. George Clinton is of no relation to the 42nd president, Bill Clinton, who took his stepfather's surname as a child. Oh. Oh. So he's not even a Clinton. That's interesting. So, uh, I wonder, uh, what family tree good old Billy Boy actually does derive from. Hmm. That even now another can of worms I didn't realize I was opening. Anyway, moving on to 1835, Bavarian Ludwig Railway opens the first German steam railway. All right. And then 1836, Martin Van Buren was elected the eighth president of the United States. Good old Van Buren. Uh-huh. Back, uh, back in the old times, back when presidents and, you know, people in positions of power actually honored and respected the powers that they wield. 1842, New York Philharmonic's first concert. Okay. And New York Philharmonic, you know, is world-renowned nowadays, so this is when they first started. 1869, Jesse James' first confirmed bank robbery. He and his brother robbed a bank in Gallatin, Missouri, shot cashier in re revenge killing. Huh. Yikes. 
1872, HMS Challenger set sail on a three and a half year world oceanographic cruise, the first expedition to explore the deep sea successfully on a global scale. Woo! That is, that is awesome. You know, this is why I was saying, like, how come all these things that we did hundreds of years ago seem mind-blowing today? It's like, how far have we been reduced as a society, like, intellectually-wise, cognitive capacity-wise? Like, you know, these, the, this technology is, you know, are hundreds of years old. How come, how come we're stagnating while, like, government and industry has all this super-advanced technology? I don't know. It, hmm. That's, that's a whole conversation for the peanut or something. Anyway, 1875, Native Sons of the West organized. Native Sons of the West. Let's look that up here. Uh, oh, come on. P. There we go. Uh, Native Sons of the West, okay. The Native Sons of the Golden West is a fraternal uh, service organization founded in the U.S. in the state of California in 1875. Dedicated to historic preservation and documentation of the state's historic structures and places, the placement of historic plaques, and other charitable functions in California. IA. All right. So, uh, Native Sons of the Golden West. Whatever. There we go. So, yeah, Native Sons of the West. Cool, cool. They didn't uh, fully elaborate on that. You know, just that's a real quick blip, especially something about Native Americans. You know, from especially from California, you'd think you know this being a you know a left-leaning source, they'd be all over this article, like like flies on poop, but apparently not. Uh, what else do we got here? 1876, New York Mutuals and Philadelphia A's were expelled from the National League for not completing schedule, I believe. Just sched. Like, isn't no the skeld is a ship on Among Us, so. That's where I was getting confused. We also have 1885, 49th Congress of 1885 through 87 convenes. Um, I, I have no idea why it takes Congress so long to convene. Why can't they, they, they just screwing around and stuff in there? What's going on? 1891, we have the 52nd U.S. Congress, the first to appropriate $1 billion, held the first session. Wow, a $1 billion in 1891. I did not know that number existed back in that time. That's a lot of money. 1900, Max Planck, in his house at Grunwald, on the outskirts of Berlin, discovered the law of black body radiation. What? Law of black body radiation? What does that even mean? Like, um, okay, the primary law governing black body radiation is the Planck radiation law. Oh, the Planck scale. I think I've heard of this. Uh, which governs the intensity of radiation emitted by unit surface area into a fixed direction from the black body as a function of wavelength for a fixed temperature. The Planck law is represented by the shape of curves in the figure to the right. So radiation laws, the Planck laws. So here we go. Black body radiation. So let me add that here. Black body radiation. And then we also have the wiki. Oh, no, whoops, whoopsie doodles. I want this one here. I need a new mouse. There we go. All right. Number two, Britain and Germany issued an ultimatum to Venezuela demanding that President Cipriano Castro pay claims for damages caused during his takeover of the government in 1899. Oh, wow. So we were uh, already uh, well into uh, screwing around with uh, Cuba back then. So, oh, actually, that was... That was Venezuela. Cuba and Venezuela. Huh. Well, I mean, you know, they are just across the ocean from each other or whatever. Like, they're a body of water, a strait, an isthmus, uh, not an isthmus, I don't know. Uh, 1902, Britain and Germany issued an ultimatum. We got that. Okay. Well, actually, that wasn't even the U.S. That was Britain and Germany. I need to learn how to read. Uh, 1907, Eugene Corey became the first referee in a boxing ring. Oh, okay. I wonder if he had a duck and weave, you know, as well. Like, stay out of the way. 1907 as well, the first Egyptian Nationalist Congress met under the leadership of Mustafa Kamil Pasha. Ah, all right. 1909, inventor Leo Bakelin patented the first thermosetting plastic Bakelite, sparking the birth of the plastics industry. Yep, so, like, you know, we have you know, plastics in this, there's plastics in my microphone, there's plastics in, in everything I'm using, I'm drinking out of plastics, I'm drinking out of plastics. Like, pretty sure there's plastics in my glasses. I'm pretty sure there's plastics in me now. 
like from all the microplastics and everything. So un unwarranted plastics. So, my God, plastic is everywhere. Where would we, where would society be without plastic? I'm literally looking all over my desk. There's plastic and everything. You know, my lamp, like you know, lighters, you know, chip clips, friggin' water bottle, like the lid to my to uh, to this old stuff, bags, plastics in my hat, can of can of air, router, modem, monitor, everything. Wow, this guy really revolutionized the world. Jeez. 1911 National Hockey Association formed with New Westminster, Vancouver, and Victoria. All right. Uh, 1912 bust of Queen Nefertiti found in El Alamara, Egypt. Yeah, bust of Queen Nefertiti. 1912. Let's let's look that up here. 1912 bust of Queen Nefertiti. This one here. All right. Let's give it a look. It's a beautiful. And, and it was um the paint. I'm not sure if it was this intact. I think they've since done touch-ups. But the paint was somewhat intact, if not, like, really nicely intact. Here's an actual picture. You can see that there's still paint and stuff on there. So, yeah, you can see the you know, changes and stuff, so pretty intact. 1917, uh, the USA's 42nd Rainbow Division arrived in France with Colonel Douglas MacArthur among its ranks. Oh, yeah, the Rainbow Division. And didn't he, like... Later, go on to lead it? I'm not sure. No. Douglas MacArthur. Like, uh, we should have listened to him during the Korean War. Uh, I'm not going to repeat what he said, but, uh, you know, the world would be in a lot better place, in my opinion. Like, probably would still be in some crap, but would not be in this horrible mess. Probably, I'm not sure. But... 1917, U.S. became 13th country to declare war on Australia during war... Or Austria. Not Australia. <laughs> Declare war on Australia! We must fight the emus. No, the U.S. became the 13th country to declare war on Austria uh, during the First World War. So, there's that. 1924, we have a German election. The Social Democrats win. The Nazis and Communists lose. Yeah, well, the, you know, these people, you know, always take over these people. Same with, you know, these people today are taking over these people. So, yeah, I mean... This is this is just uh, this is just a shoehorn that they used to get into the door for these people. 1917, uh, we got that. We got uh, 24. 1926, gas refrigerator uh, refrigerator was patented. All right, and uh, that's another world-changing invention. Did you know refrigerators are used to keep uh, food from freezing? Uh, you know, like uh, up in the northern areas, like you know Eskimos, if they have uh, refrigerators. That's actually uh, to keep the food warmer than uh, what it is on the outside of the refrigerator. 1932, first gyro-stabilized vessel to cross Atlantic arrived in New York. Yep. You know, so that way the ship doesn't like, you know, rock and roll and all that stuff on the waves. You know, uh, gyro-stabilization. Really cool stuff. 1937, Dutch minister Rum uh, proclaims married women are forbidden to work. That is not nice. If they want to work, why why shouldn't they you know like but I mean then who who's gonna take care of the kids you know a babysitter now you're making an entire industry of babysitters and who are gonna be those people they're not getting paid the best so you know ju just because you know just because you want to work Margaret doesn't mean that you know that's better for everybody so you got you got to consider the children well if you have kids you know if you're married that, that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean you got children so there is that um, anyway 1939 Lou Gehrig at the age of 36 was elected to baseball's Hall of Fame all right and one year later 1940 we have the first prototype fairy barracuda uh, fiery bar barracuda flu first prototype fairy uh, you know what let me just look up this whole thing 1940 it's obviously an airplane oh this one okay Huh. Okay, that's a pretty cool plane. Is it a fighter or a bomber? It's a torpedo bomber, I see. Alright. A barracuda, of course, you know. Wow. Uh, 1941, the first Japanese midget submarine, number 20, attacked by a U.S. ship, USS Ward. So, um, yeah, people say that we uh, actually struck the first blow right before Pearl Harbor. Um, yeah, we're going to get a couple things here before that. 
Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, they're they're coming over here to hit us. You know, and they're already like. I mean, the reason like people don't look at the whole picture. The Jap, uh, you know. Pearl Harbor was allowed to happen. We didn't know exactly, you know, what the Japanese were going to do, but we forced them with all the oil embargoes. Now, we did the oil embargoes because they were being extremely hostile and invading everybody around them. So, you know, tit for tat, tit for tat, tit for tat. Who, who, struck, who swung the first blow on a global scale? And that would be Japan for being super aggressive and, and conquering mindset, you know? Um, but then, you know... Yeah, I agree with us, you know, doing the oil embargo and all that stuff to to choke them out because, you know, they're doing not right to other nations. But then we kind of just let them, uh, I, I guess, lesser of two evils. If we didn't let them attack us, we wouldn't have had any validation to go after them beyond just embargoes and whatnot. But, yeah, yeah what, what do you do? You know, tough, tough decisions. Reminds me a lot of that one game, um, like you know where, it, like if you if you uh, if you overthrow the king, then you then you have the kingdom, but then uh, an entire invasion force comes in and, and wipes out or stuff. Meanwhile, it's it's discovered that the king who is corrupt was actually keeping the land safe by preventing the evil like invasion from happening. I don't remember the exact semantics, but like. You know, when you start talking about, you know, decisions of this level, it's very tough decisions. And I don't know how a, how a, how a human being can, can be given, you know, so much authority as to make these, but we need to. Anyway, moving on up to 1941, Adolf Hitler issued Nacht und Nebel Erlass, Night and Fog Directive, against anti-Nazi resistance fighters in occupied territories, targets sent to concentration camps and or murdered. Yikes. Wow. And that, that all happened uh, during Pearl Harbor. Wow. And then we have here, you know, speaking of Pearl Harbor, Imperial Japanese Navy with 353 planes attacked the U.S. fleet at Pearl Harbor Naval Base, Hawaii, killing 2,403 people. Yikes. Yep. Um, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, uh, there's... Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Imperial Japanese Navy attacks U.S. Uh, Naval Air Station uh, Kamaho Bay in Hawaii. 18 sailors were killed. 33 of 36 patrol planes were destroyed or damaged. This is the first Japanese aircraft shot down in action. Yep. And uh, let me play this. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate, and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Now if you want to watch the rest of this, I will post this uh, in the underbar actually here. So, uh, FDR, December 7th speech. So, yeah, if you want to watch the rest of that, but, you know, that's, you know, and, and a little known fact, actually, about, uh, about all this, uh, uh hoopla, not really hoopla, but, like, uh, despite the U.S., you know, having been attacked, Canada used Pearl Harbor as a reason to declare war on Japan before we did. Like, let that sink in. Canada declared war before us, and we were the ones attacked. Like, they, they are chomping at the bit. To, to, to go to war like well not to go to war but Canada you know like they're they're crazy you know like there's a reason why you know they're always apologetic and everything because if they don't keep themselves they're basically like a nation of shaggies you know they, they got to keep themselves humble because let's not forget the one time that the US actually did fight Canada in a war granted that we were fighting Britain as well but you know we lost so yeah anyway Moving on up, uh, 1941, during the Second World War, uh, German siege of Tobruk, Libya, uh, ended after eight months as Erwin Rommel withdrew after losses and supply chain failures. Huh. That was, like, you know, well before our involvement, so. But Britain was in there fighting, uh, fighting the Germans and the Italians in, uh, in Africa. Uh, 1944, Convention on International Civil Aviation, drawn up Chicago, or drawn up in Chicago. 
Convention on International Civil Aviation. Let's look that up here really quick. Um, yeah, here we go. December 730. Uh, also known as the Chicago Invention, established the International Civil Air Organization, uh, so Civil Aviation Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations chartered with coordinating international air travel. All right. So uh, what was this called again? C-I-C-A. Kika. All right. What else do we have? W-46 fire at Windhoff, or, uh, Windhoff Hotel in Atlanta killed 119 people. That sucks. You know, once again, in a place where, you know, you don't really go to to experience harsh times. You know, hotel, supermarket, you know, shopping mall, park, you know, whatever. You go, you go somewhere, like, you know, for something not stressful. And, you know, there, there's a fire or a collapse or something. And it's just awful. W-60 Ivory Coast claimed independence from France. Cool, cool. And then three years after that, we have the first use of the instant replay machine invented by CBS in a uh, U.S. Army-Navy football game. And I wonder, like I heard uh, that the uh, Army-Navy game is coming up. Uh, I don't really care personally, but somebody's mentioned something about maybe uh, a certain orange man showing up and them hoping that the entire stadium goes crazy. And Okay, cool. So... Uh, we also have uh, 1963, Ian McKeff no-balled for throwing against the South Africans. Um, what does that mean? Let me just look that up here really quick. Ian McKeff no-balled. Uh, from a casual saunter of 16 paces and with a left arm disconcerted bent, Ian McKeff bowled at great speed and amid unending controversy for almost eight first-class seasons until Empire Colin Agar abruptly concluded his career at Brisbane in November of 1963 uh, during the first test against South Africa by calling him something something. So this is about cricket. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that means, what a no-ball is, but uh, if you do, please let us know in the comments section so anybody who, who you know is interested will know. Two years later, in 1965, Roman Catholic Pope Paul VI um, and Orthodox Patriarch uh, Athanagoras I simultaneously lifted the mutual excommunications that led to the split of the two churches in 1054 in the Great Schism. Wow. Wow. So, let's see here. Uh, 900 something. Uh, I'm trying to do the math. My head kind of hurts right now. Um, 911 years, so let's see here, 1965 minus 1054 equals 911, yeah. Oh, wait, conspiracy, conspiracy. <laughs> um, no, uh, wow, 911 years they were split, that is, man, you know, like religion really is a powerful thing. It can bring people together, but it seems to always tear them apart just as much as if not more. You know, the, the creation of humans are is only as good as humans themselves. Uh, 1967, Otis Redding recorded his song, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Watching the Tide Roll Away. I love that song. Doo-wop is a great genre. Co-written and produced by guitarist Steve Cropper at Stack Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. Hell yeah. That's a good song. 1968, London Records released Rolling Stone album Beggar's Banquet in U.S. to last during Brian Jones' lifetime. Aw, oh, man. So he must have died shortly after. 1969. Oh, okay. At the age of 27. And this is, um... This is one year... In, uh, I, you know, actually, less than a year later. Dang. Oh, rest in peace, Mr. Jones. Uh, 1968, Orbiting Astro Astronomical Observatory 2 was launched in Earth orbit. All right. And while that was going on, Richard Dodd returned a library book his great-grandfather took out in 1823 from the University of Cincinnati. All right. So we cover this every now and then on the news show. And, then, you know, every now and then, even lesser time, we actually cover it in the history show, you know. Uh, returning a very long overdue book. Um, I hope he didn't have to pay the late fees. That, that, would, uh, that would break the bank right there. 1970, West Germany and Poland normalized relations. That's a lot quicker than uh, than thought. So, all right, but cool. Yeah, West Germany, so not East Germany. 1971, musical Wild and Wonderful opened and closed at the Lyakin Theater in New York City after one performance. Well, you know, they might have thought they were wild and wonderful, but they opened and closed the same night. Clearly, you're not wild or wonderful. 
You know, and if anybody doesn't get that joke, I am not going to explain it to you. 1971, Wings released their first album, Wildlife. All right. 1972, Apollo 17 was launched, the final manned lunar landing mission where the crew took the famous blue marble photo of the entire Earth. Well, that's not really the entire Earth. That's just focusing with Madagascar in the center frame. There's Africa. There's Saudi Arabia. You know, Egypt is up there, too. You know, there's uh, Antarctica. Uh, yep. Uh, we also have uh, 1972 Philippines First Lady Emilia Macros stabbed and wounded by an assailant. Yikes. That's not cool. 1978 Islanders Mike Bossy's first career hat trick. Cool. And where'd that go? 1978? So, uh, I, wow, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Uh, did I, do I have this right? Where'd it go? Um, okay. Hold on a second. Islander Mike Bossy's first career hat trick. Let me look this up here. Because it's not February 4th. Okay, yeah, that is wrong. Um, so, yeah, they expunged it from their records. I'll do the same. Wow, that is a major screw-up right there. Uh, 1979, Star Trek The Motion Picture, first movie of the series, premiered, directed by Robert Wise, starring William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy. Captain's Law. 1981, Spain became a member of the NATO. Of the NATO. Wait, what? 1981? Of the NATO. Okay. Well, I mean, that is technically true. NATO stands for a North Atlantic Treaty Organization, so the NATO, just not NATO. Huh. I wonder why we don't say the more often. Huh. That's interesting. 1982, Dos Anna's Massacre in Guatemala during country civil war, causing the deaths of 171 people, uh, led by Santos Lopez Alonso. Yikes. Oh, yep. 1982 as well, in Tejas, Charles Brooks Jr. became the first person to be executed by lethal injection in the U.S. Yikes, and that was 82. Uh, where are you? Yep, here we go. Lethal injection. That's... That sucks. Like, I, that's just... I, I, yeah. Terrifying. Just, you know, you can't do the crime, or can't do the time, don't do the crime, guys. You know? Don't, don't go around doing things that will put you in such positions. Be nice. 1987, 43 die in Pacific Southwest airline crash in California, A. Eh? A man shot the pilots. Yikes. Ah, oh, man, what, what's with California? While that was happening, Gorbachev arrived in the, in the, uh, or in the U.S. for a summit meeting with Ronald Reagan. Gorbachev, good old, um, you know, country birthmark man. 1987 as well as well, Palestinian uprising against Israel in West Bank. Well, you know, it's not really an uprising. It's more like they're trying to maintain their land. But that's a discussion for another time. 1988, 6.9 earthquake in Spinak, Armenia, killed 25 to 50,000 people and left up to 500,000 homeless. Wow. That is one hell of, a, of an earthquake right there. Right here. Yep. Uh, as well, Gorbachev, this guy again, announced 10% unilateral Soviet troop reductions at the United Nations. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, 1988 as well as well. Uh, Miguel Gorbachev was cheered by Wall Street crowd upon arrival in New York City. Okay, well, we have some things that are not in line. Like, this, like, you know, the, the boom, we, you can have, like, three articles in one. Right here, source. So, you need a, you need a, um, yeah, better your, your writing. What else do we got here? Uh, 1988, PLO delegation led by Yasser Arafat proclaimed the state of Palestine, recognizing the existence of the state of Israel for the first time. Because uh, he's forced into it, under threat of assassination, most likely. So, uh, 1992, Galileo spacecraft passed North Pole of Moon, the Peary Crater. All right. 1993, the Long Island Railroad Massacre. Passenger Colin Ferguson murdered six people and injured 19 others on the LIRR in the South County, New York. Yikes. I had no idea that was a thing that happened. Like, wow. Why don't they talk more about this? I didn't know anything about this, huh? Uh, 1994, radio personality Howard Stern talked a man out of attempting suicide, and a lot of people believe that that might have been a publicity stunt. 
And with how Howard Stern acts today, I wouldn't be surprised at all if all that was staged, just to give him some credit. But if it was real, kudos to him, but, you know, I don't think it was. But that doesn't mean it wasn't, you know. Uh, anyway, 1995, U.S. rock band The Grateful Dead broke up after the death of Jerry Garcia. Oh, they weren't grateful that he died. You know, that's for sure. I guess that's why they broke up. 1995, U.S. space probe Galileo began orbiting Jupiter. All right. Four years later, in 1999, the, IRI, uh, the RIAA filed a lawsuit against the Napster file sharing client on charges of copyright infringement. Oh, the birth of piracy. Good old Napster. So, yeah, now uh, YouTube is, you know, in their attempts to destroy us. All they did was make us ad block people's, people stronger and greater in number. Most people didn't even realize that ad blockers were a thing online, but now they do. Good job, YouTube. You, 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 you screwed yourself. Google, Alphabet. You know, when will they learn that going against the people is just never going to work out for them? <laughs> ah, well, they'll, they'll figure it out at some point. Like, hopefully sooner rather than later. Anyway, 2003, the Conservative Party of Canada was officially recognized after the merger of the Canadian Alliance and Progressive Conservative Party of Canada. All right. Well, they need to get stronger. <laughs> Canada is in some serious problems right now. 2005, Rigoberto Alpizar, a passenger on American Airlines Flight 924, who allegedly claimed to have a bomb, was shot and killed by a team of U.S. Federal Air Marshals at Miami International Airport. But did he have a bomb? Like, so, Rigoberta, did, did he have a bomb? Um, killing of Rigoberto Apiazza. Um, air marshal kills passenger who claimed to have a bomb. Um, shooting, yada, yada, aftermath. Uh, yada, 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 search and special agent, yada, yada, they are referring, no explosives found. Okay, so that answers that question. So for further reading on this guy, uh, Let's see here. Rego Beretto Alpizar. Alright. What else do we have here? 2005, U.S. Department of the Second Part of Two Part TV Biopic miniseries Pope John Paul II on CBS. Grandpa Pope. Pope Grandpa. One of the greatest popes of all time, as far as I'm concerned. That guy got shot. He got stabbed. You know, they invented the Pope Mobile around him. Like. He was a great guy. 2007, the Heidi, uh, the, the, the Hebe Sport, uh, no, the Hebe Spirit oil spill began in South Korea after a crane barge uh, being towed by a tug collided with a very large crude carrier, Hebe Spirit. Okay, yeah, that uh, created an oil spill. That would happen. 2014, mayor of Paris called for diesel cars to be banned from the French capital by 2020 in order to reduce pollution. Uh, well, how, how well did that work out? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on the side of the yellow vest. They need to make a comeback. Uh, 2014 as well, the Archbishop of Canterbury claimed that he is more shocked by the plight of Britain's hunger-stricken poor than suffering in African refugee camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, you know. Like, uh, we Western society thinks that we're so civilized, yet look at how we treat our own people. Look at how we treat our veterans. 2014, the Syrian military accused Israel of carrying out two airstrikes in Syria. Wouldn't be too surprised if that was true. 2015, Beijing issued its first ever red alert for pollution. Yeah, well, it took them long enough. 2015 as well as well, David Bowie's final public appearance at the opening of his musical Lazarus at New York Theater Workshop in New York City. Well, you know, like, whoever saw that show, you know, that's, that's historical. David Bowie, you know, rest in peace. 2015, uh, U.S. President uh, candidate Donald Trump proposed banning... Well, I'm not even going to read all that because that was... That was... This is completely hyperbole. He was banning uh, travel from uh, nations that are experiencing civil war, that are experiencing unrest. He wasn't just straight up sweeping, banning people of a religious order, no. This is just complete and total... This is a lie. A straight-up leftist lie. Lie. Propaganda. 2016, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi resigned three days after losing a referendum to reform the Constitution. Now, I am just I am just disgusted by this lie. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even a Trump supporter, but you know what? Get off of him. You know? Like, 
Find something truthful to say about him. You know, don't just make stuff stuff up. Yuck. Uh, 2017, Australia's parliament voted to legalize gay marriage. All right. In 2017 as well, crumbling uh, French Chateau La Bonté Chanchichelles and Les Trois Montier was bought by 9,000 people. Huh. Uh, French Chateau. Let's uh, take a look at this. God, I can't believe that lie. Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. So 9,000 people now own that. Huh. The moat, you know, that's a, that's a cool chateau. You know what? They really should chip in, restore it, you know, have it as a community center. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome! Make it a community center! Yes! Dude, I would donate to that, honestly. Somebody should start a GoFundMe. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, 2017, former U.S. gymnast physician Larry Nassar was sentenced to 60 years on... I'm not even going to read that charges. Yuck! Ugh. What the hell? Uh, 2017, as well as well, Naples' pizza spinning was given UNESCO inter uh, intangible heritage status, along with Germany's organ music, uh, Kyrgyzstan's Bach Buru, and India's Kumba Festival. Uh, I need to look this up here. Um, so, let's see here. Uh, Kok Buru. What is that? Oh, okay, some, some sport. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is he throwing a sheep? What is happening here? Okay, I need to look this up here. Traditional horse game. Um, what is a cock? It is a traditional game played by two teams on horseback where players try to maneuver with a goat's carcass replaced with a mole in modern day games, or ulak, and score by putting it into an opponent's skull. So they're literally playing with a corpse, or nowadays... Wow, what the hell? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, well, my other monitor is dead, so, um, how do you talk about this? Talk about, uh, this, oh, I can't, oh well. Um, crap, uh, Kakboru. Okay, okay, Boru. Let me just add that as a note. Um, anyway, let's move on up. 2017, Pantone's 2018 color of the year was ultraviolet. Okay. 2017 as well. Unrest in West Bank on Gaza. Schools closed in a general strike in response to uh, America's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I don't blame them for, you know, being in a state of fear and panic. Just under the boot. Never getting any recognition on, a, on any sort of level. The Palestinians are just getting screwed. 2017, virtual currency Bitcoin raised in value, uh, passing $18,444, or $44, $40 on some exchanges. Why, why I'm having a stutter problem with force. 2018, Annegret Kramp Karrenbacher was elected the new leader of Germany's Christian Democratic Union Party, replacing Angela Merkel. Thank God. Was, you know, bye bye, you know, na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye, you know. Uh, 2018 as well, um, Brazilian spiritual healer Lau, uh, Jao, Joao uh, Texieria de Faria accused of uh, that abuse by four women. Over 200 more come forward in next week. Uh, well, you know, let the Me Too movement just coming in everywhere. 2018 as well, comedian Kevin Hart stepped down as 2019 Oscars host after his history of, you know, homophobic statements, it was revealed. I don't believe they were homophobic. Kevin Hart is a sweetheart, okay? He is a great man, and they're only they're only taking him down just because he's a, he's he has money, he has status, he has power. Probably other reasons as well, but I'm not going to list them because they're they're you know they're ridiculous. Like, leave people alone. 2018 court filings by U.S. federal prosecutors and special counsel Robert Mueller against Michael Cohen appeared to implicate uh, President Donald Trump on campaign fraud and Russia dealings. You know, you want to talk about uh, Russian collusion? Let's talk about Hillary Clinton selling off what was it, a third of our uranium uh, uh, supplies to Russia directly. You know, nobody talks about that. You know, I wonder why. That's a little weird. 
2018, former uh, Italy national football coach Cesar Prandelli was appointed manager of Sierra A club Genoa CFC, replacing Ivan Juric. First time in history, all 20 Serie A managers are all Italian. Oh, now the Mafia is taking over. Watch out. Then we have in 2020, Australian state celebrated Freedom Day, uh, easing Kung Flu restrictions in Victoria and New South Wales. All right, and we're going to talk about the polar opposite of that, you know, with what they're doing in California in a, in a couple articles here. 2020, Bob Dylan sell, sold his entire uh, songwriting catalog of more than 600 songs to the Universal Music Publishing Group for over $300 million. Wow, he needed some quick cash. 2020 as well as well, breaking uh, the competitive form of break dancing, confirmed as an Olympic sport for the Paris 2024 Games. I wonder if it was thing 2024 for Olympic Games. It wasn't in Paris, was it? Um, oh, it is in Paris. Friday, July. So it already was breaking. Was it uh, break? Was it? Was it in in it? It was. Oh wow! So they they actually did have break dancing. I will be damned. Huh? That is that is hilarious. Uh, 2020 Coca-Cola, don't forget, be less white, uh, the competitive, uh, or name the world's number one plastic polluter, what a surprise, and break free from plastics annual brand audit. Yep, you know, like, um, Coca-Cola probably still uses cocaine in their, in their, you know, beverages to some degree. I mean, there's a reason why it's addicting beyond just sugar, so, and people still buy it, even after, like, you know, after something like this, after something like... What I mentioned at the beginning of this article, you know, there that little memo that got leaked. People still keep buying it and drinking it, you know. Like, wake up. If you want the world to change, it starts with you. 2020, most of California began second lockdown as hospitals came under strain and the state records averaged 21,000 Kung Flu cases a day. Uh, just more malarkey and garbage to push agendas. I remember that. I was a Grubhub driver back then. The Great Pause. Strange times, wild times, times that I don't think anybody ever is going to see again in, in the history of the foreseeable future. 2021, 3,500-year-old Gilgamesh Dream Tablet went on display in Iraq for the first time in 30 years after it was looted during the Gulf War. Part of the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known pieces of literature. Wow. Nice. So let's uh, take a look at what that looks like here. Uh, I actually want images. Images, give me images. So, ooh, this, all right. Yeah, the Elbic, Epic of Gilgamesh, which actually, hold on a second. Peter Pringle. Um, he does a really good song here, Epic of Gilgamesh. I'm gonna listen to this after the show, actually. Um, let's see here, Peter Pringle. Epic of um, Gilgamesh. Uh, all right, all right. What else do we have? 2021, Chile became the 31st nation to legalize same-sex marriage. Cool, cool. And we also have Brandon warned Russian President Vladimir Putin of economic consequences if Russia continued a military buildup in Ukraine during a virtual meeting. And how well did that go? That's laughable. And then just last year, we have two articles after widespread public uh, protests in China uh, announces a major loosening of Kung Flu re restrictions for the whole country, allowing the home, you know, all this, I can't even read most of these words, but, you know, you can go to the source, you can read it for yourself. Peruvian President Pedro Castillo ousted from office after trying to dissolve Congress, who were about to impeach him on corruption charges. Vice President Dina Bolivar sworn in as country's first woman president. All right. And then we have, uh, I believe, uh, this is just, uh, yeah, this is more propaganda um, right here. So, uh, 25 uh, right-wing people arrested in Germany, suspected of organizing a coup, you know, yada, yada, yada. Bullshit. So, just more propaganda. Let me, let me add a note, actually, here. Pr propaganda. All right, you know what? No, period. Propaganda. Statement. 
So, yeah. But that shall conclude the show. Once again, please check the underbar in the description below for anything you may find interesting, including Mother Linda to all things on the Coalition. We're not just on YouTube. We're not just on Rumble. We're also on BitChute. And every now and then we're on Odyssey. Uh, but that's only for select shows like The Peanut and and uh, Theod and whatnot. Anyway, for your dose of past events daily, we stream nearly every day at 11 in the morning Pacific time, which is 12 noon Mountain, 1 Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, respectively. For all of you and all of us, I am, I am Aosander, and you are, of course, are you. Thank you once again for joining. Until you uh, join again, see us uh, whenever that is, wherever that is. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Toodles! Oops. I guess I gotta do it this way. Yep. Alright. Because my other monitor is dead in stream.